Kenya has made significant strides in the improvement of its infrastructure to support the growing economy and its population. Kenya's road network has experienced significant growth from projects that have been initiated all over Kenya, but more needs to be done. Kenya's economy has grown steadily over the years, making many more Kenyans able to afford personal vehicles. The growing population also means that more goods need to be transported by road to the furthest reaches of the country. This prosperity has come at a cost. Kenya loses over 50 million shillings daily from the delays and fuel wastage caused by traffic jams and accidents, especially in urban areas. This translates to a loss of 18 billion shillings annually. Although efforts have been made to ease the access to Nairobi through works on the James Kishuru Rironi section of the A8 and the dueling of the Athi River Machako section, the journey through Nairobi remains hectic. It now takes motorists about one and a half to two hours to drive through Nairobi. The government of Kenya, in partnership with the China Road and Bridge Corporation, the CRBC, has initiated works on the Nairobi Expressway. This is a dual carriageway designed to run along the central reserve of the A8 road, starting from Lalongo all the way to the James Kishuru Junction. It connects the Nairobi to Mombasa and Nairobi to Malamba sections of the A8 road. From Lolongo to Next Gen Mall, the expressway will run at the same level with the existing A8. From there, it will be elevated above the A8 all the way to James Kishu. Works for these projects, which include earthworks, culverts, bridges, and pavements, are projected to take three years to complete. Completion of this road section of the A8 will ease movement of people and goods through Nairobi significantly, reducing travel time from Mombasa to Malaba. The Nairobi Expressway will have 10 interchanges that allow smooth exit and entry at major points along the road. It is expected to eventually reduce travel time through Nairobi from two hours at rush hour to 20 minutes. This project is expected to create about 3,000 jobs during construction and 500 jobs during operation. Both phases will ensure that the skills transfer takes place. Other service providers will also benefit during the implementation of the project. Motorists using the expressway will be required to pay a toll fee as the road enables uninterrupted movement through the section. All the toll stations will be proposed at exit of slip roads so that payment is done at the exit points. The tolling system will use both the electric toll collection and manual toll collection options.
This project, the first of its kind in Kenya, will considerably decongest traffic on the Mlolongo to James Kishiru A8 section. The Nairobi Expressway will play an instrumental role in the journey to attain the aspirations of the Kenya Vision 2030. quality of life by the year 2030.